at Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And it's your boy, Stanley. Back for power. Once if again, you're, if you're new to the family, welcome. If you're an old family member, welcome back. Y'all know Indeed. how we do it. No drama, no craziness. If you get out of pocket in the comments section, the only thing that I can do is what? Block, Block you. you. You know, because at the end of the day, this is just TV. Yeah. We don't know these people. Nope. They don't know us. Exactly. They don't pay none of us to do this, and they don't pay y'all to watch. Exactly. They, but y'all pay them. Just entertain. Yeah. Google pays me, though, for real, for real. But <laughs> into the review we go, and the Mr. You have the floor. The kind of man you are. Didn't understand the title until I actually started watching, so I understand. I that. didn't understand until the end. Yeah, towards the end, I understood it. Um, but we start off crazy. They got Dawn Fed, them picked up Keisha, Dre, and Julio. I was like, oh hell. This junk is got real. The heat is on. When you get picked up by the feds, it's no more hope for you. Mm -mm. <laughs> but what I appreciate is when they had them all in the interrogation room, right? You had Julio giving his story. See, Julio and Dre, they're professionals at this. Yeah. They know what to say, how, how much to say, to say exactly. how to say it. And they know, look, if I ain't being charged with nothing, I ain't got to sit here and answer nothing. So yeah. the quicker you can get us in, the quicker you can get me up out of here exactly. and let me go. So I said, okay, they got this thing a lot. And basically they said the same thing about James St. Patrick. Mm -hmm. He came from the gutter. Yep. He brought his way on out the gutter. And instead of him turning the back on the hood like the rest of these folks do, exactly. he gave us a job. Mm -hmm. He gave me a job at the wash and fold. He gave me a job <laughs> at the club so that I ain't got to do what I used to do. He said, you see my record. Yeah. So, you know, somebody like me, he gave me a chance. Leave me alone. Yeah. But when it came to Keisha, I was kind of scared. Yeah, because she a little shaky. Yeah. But I do appreciate cats that have screwed their life up. And when they get up, they help another brother out, another sister out, get them on their feet. Because in this world, if you get a record, it's over. you can't even get no job. That's why, that's why a lot of people who go to jail for selling drugs, they end up going back selling because they can't get a job. Then they do get a job at the grocery store. They want to pay them six fifty dollars an hour. So and construction yeah. it is. So they either go back to construction or they go back to selling drugs. Yeah. So, yeah, we was we were definitely concerned with Keisha. And I honestly thought yeah. she did good. Yeah, she did. She did good. I think she might have still said a little bit too much. Oh, she said too much. Yeah, she did a little bit too much. I think when when she told her, you already know the answer to all these questions. I ain't saying nothing else. I think she should have left right yeah. there. Because keep in mind, <clears throat> Angela was the one asking her the questions. Yeah. So she was coming at her. Kish already in her feelings because look, you the winch. That messed up that my messed friend's up my, marriage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you got the nerve to be questioning me about stuff about her marriage when you already know the answers yeah. to this bull skit because you helped do it. Exactly. Well, they kind of tripped her up with how long they been separated. Uh-huh. Oh, but he moved back in the house. But no, he wasn't actually in the house house. He was, he was in, in another office. room in the yeah. house. And, oh, you didn't know that your friend had sold the wedding ring. And I was like, don't say nothing, Keisha. Don't she didn't say, say nothing. nothing else. She said, if that would have said, and she pushed the paper back to her, the then that's what it is. <laughs> so, um, then they go, Keisha ends up back over there with Tasha and them, you know, but she had to go back for a report what had happened, right? Yeah, by this time, she was scared, though. Scared yeah. to death. Time is over. Was, yeah, what time over there? Nah, no, Tony, it was um that, that new lawyer dude. That's, oh, um, Lord. Yeah, the dude that we don't like, Tony. Tom, um, Terry. Terry. Terry and Proctor was up over there. Yeah, and trying to figure out what did she tell him. Make sure she didn't talk too much. And Tasha was like, what you tell him? She was like, I ain't tell him nothing. You know, she was asking me all these questions that she already knew herself. Yeah, so, so Proctor figured it out. Yeah, so you want to tell him when we got it? We're working on this together. We're going together? <laughs> me and you going to have some, so, some, some issues right in a minute. So, so to make a long story short, pretty much she trying to put, they trying to put the shakedown on Tasha to get Tasha to go against ghosts. So what they're going to do is they're going to try to prove that they were separated. Mm -hmm. No longer, they married, but they separated. And so they want to remove the, what they call it, the removing the spousal privilege. I don't know what the hell that is. I know about oh. spousal support, but uh, I don't know nothing about no spousal, spousal privilege in the court of law is, is that you know how people will hurry up and get married to somebody so they can't testify against them? That's what it is. Oh, now that makes sense. Yeah, so, so they're trying to prove that they're not really together yeah. together so that they can charge her too yes. as an accomplice. Exactly. And she can be put on the stand. Yeah, 
So if they can do that, and I was like, this is this Angela Bullskit, like everybody say, she must die. She gotta today. go. She got to go. Her answer And like I said, she know that he didn't do this. And she's going to keep pressing and pressing because her little heart got broken. We all, all our heart get broken one time or another. Take that. Just like they told Rob about freaking uh, Black China. Take the L and keep moving, player. Angela, take the L and keep moving. No, that meme that said, whatever Rob says she did, she did, did that, that skit. skit. <laughs> You know what that's wrong, but I had to laugh because you had to be a power person to know where that came from. Yeah. So then we see Tommy, you know, being the daddy, taking um, to, uh, Tariq and Raina to school. Let Raina go. He was like, Tariq, what's up, man? What's going on? Why you keep on disrespecting your mama like that? She was. He was like, at this point, I don't care nothing about them. Uh -huh. Daddy don't care about us. He, you know, and um. Uh, no, Tommy said, well, you know, your dad is family. He He's all about family. He's not going to do nothing to hurt y'all. You know, good and well, he ain't killing police officers. He's like, really? Really? He don't care about none of us. Huh. All he care about is himself. And what else he said? It was something else he said. I ain't going to help you because you, you said, you said, who doing the review? You and me. <laughs> so now that you stuck, but, stay stuck. But it don't even matter. But Tariq <laughs> got to go too. He got to go too. Because Kanan is all up in his head, making him think that his daddy is this person that he not. He he kinda is that person, but he not the person that Kanan is painting him to be. So but Thomas scared me though. Cause but, Thomas said, I don't always believe your father. And he don't always tell the truth either. Yeah. And I was like, Tommy, we we're we going with this. And he said, But this right here. He, he said, didn't do that. He said, I put that on everything. He didn't do that. Yeah. Tariq was like, he don't care nothing about the family. He left the family a long time ago to be with that B and was like, deuces, I'm out. Tommy was looking at him like, for real? For real? <laughs> this how you, you just gonna walk on my face like this? <laughs> I was like, Tommy, get your nephew. Ooh. Yeah, Tariq gotta go too. Yeah, he fell off the deep end. So then we see, getting a little bit more clear about this Tony dude. So... We see a guy come along with a pack of freaking ramen noodles. <laughs> hand them to him. I was like, what in the hell he doing with some noodles? I knew it was. Yeah, but I knew I, I knew what it was, I, you know. But so he got a cell phone at the middle of the noodles and called some person and told him who Ghost and Tommy was. So at this point, he was like, I was like, what are you gonna do with this information? So then we see a scene where he went and started talking to Ghost and was like, the way that you freaking snapped that man arm over that goddamn biscuit. I know you ain't just a businessman, you, you know. know what yeah, you doing. from the streets. You know some skit. So he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, and I know that you're a ghost. I don't know what you're talking about. So I said, he said, okay, mm, let it go. So I thought he was gonna walk away. I knew. But he spent that chair on the ranch on the ground chair. He said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and um tell you what you're gonna do because. How do you like if I go and tell, you know, the feds John that Mark. John marks them that you're a ghost and I got the proof? He said, what proof you got? He said, what proof you got? He just know I got he the said, proof. He said, just know I got it. Just know I and got it. And by him calling him ghost the no alone no, was like. No, yeah, because that's, 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 you know, secret them. He said, well, what's, what, what's your price? <laughs> So Ghost is out of, at, at pretty much in a he rock and a hard place right now. He in a rock and a hard place, man. It's, he trying to remain cool, but I think the cool is getting ready to wear off. I mean, he looked like he had no sleep <laughs> since he's been there. Nobody ain't giving no shape up. I mean, what's going on? You know, they ain't ghosts. He's been his, you know, his almighty suits with alligator shoes on, waiting Not to kill the Knicks. Huh? <laughs> Not the alligator, alligator shoes. Alligator shoes on, waiting to kill the Knicks cat that cross him. Now he's sitting there in an orange suit, back up against the wall, and can't do nothing about it. No. So the guy was like, 20 G's every week delivered to this address, and I want Tommy to break to make the drop because I know Tommy. He committed. He to committed it. to it, which he is. And I, I thought he would get ready to say because I'm Tommy Daddy. That would have been true, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> we all think that's who he is. Yeah. So I mean, Ghost really didn't have a choice. I probably would did the same thing too because if this dude run his mouth. It's a monkey it's, it's, it's a Yeah, it's going to definitely mess him up because they can't prove that he ghosts right now. But I got a feeling that ghosts going to end up killing that dude. He ain't about to play that, no. pay that joke with $20,000 a week. 
for what? And they already struggling out on the street. Yeah, so he ain't he ain't about to pay him that kind of money every week. I know he got it, but he ain't about to pay him. Is you gonna weigh in on that though? You nope, good? I ain't helping you. I ain't asked for you. I asked if you wanna <laughs> weigh in on it. No. <laughs> well, well, keep your mouth shut then. I am. I ain't saying nothing to the rest of this review. So, because it's not going well. You know what? I'm about to throw you on that door right there. Throw me. <laughs> You be in jail sitting there beside ghosts. <laughs> Maybe y'all can figure out a plan to get out of this. <laughs> so then we see this other dude, um, e not Egan, um, Knox's friend. Bailey. Bailey. Um, he came in, they was interviewing him. So pretty much they were trying to get him to lie. And he was like, no, I ain't gonna lie. This is the way it's gonna go. You need to go in that court and tell that judge hmm. that Angela is the mole that uh what you call it kill lobos ghost them kill lobos and Knox can walk off with you know his pride like he was the good one and they was like well we can't do that that's not our story he was like well i ain't saying nothing else mm. he said my evidence yeah just my disappeared. evidence he got up i said yes because you know the feds won't get you to lie anyway mm -hmm. but that's neither here nor there. So then we see he went down there and paid a visit to Angela. I was like, oh, hell. I said, uh-oh. I said, about ready to get real. So he was talking to her, told her the same thing, that you need to go into court and tell them that you was the mole and what you are. Because you the one that started all this bullshit because you wanted some black dang line and got all this started. And got you all messed up. Got you all messed up. So he was like, you need to do that and and confess that you was the mole so that Nas can get off and Ghost and Egan can get put in jail. That's the way it needs to go. And she said, basically, no, no, this ain't how it's going to go either. And he said, oh, and I saw you at the funeral. Yeah. It looked like you didn't want to be seen, but I saw you. So I saw you hiding. She said, well, I didn't think the family wanted to see me. He said, I don't think the family blames you. But yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, ooh, Bailey, one for you. <laughs> so so then we see, uh, uh, oh, I lost my train of thought. Uh-uh, no, 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 um, no silence. <laughs> this is not the court. This is a review. We saw stupid Angela came in on one of the interviews they was doing. And she offered him this bullshit deal, talking about some, if you confess to killing Knox, I'll make sure that your time is cut real short. That you ain't got to spend 20 years. I'll make sure you get two. No, no, you won't get life, but yeah. you may be getting life. <laughs> you won't get the needle, but you might get life. But, or some crazy mess like that. Yeah. It's, uh, it, she's just pissing me off, yeah. man. But even before that, we forgot to mention that there is a new dude on the case with Proctor. Proctor brought in a second chair yeah. of, of counsel Terry. named Terry. And I don't like Terry because at the end of the day, Terry is one of those dudes that as long as you paying me, I'm going to do my job. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe you. Yeah. So he has that attitude with this whole case is, um, I think you did it. And I'll try to find a loophole to get you out only because you're paying me good money so I can keep, send my kids to school. But yeah. I don't believe you. And I was like... How can you really represent Send somebody, somebody yeah. when you don't believe that they're innocent? Like, exactly. I mean, Proctor, no. I know him. And I know he do some dirt. But this right here, he didn't do. Yeah. So that's why he's willing to, like, do go the extra mile. This dude ain't going to do that. Nah. He, yeah. Because he's still trying to figure out how to put the pieces together. Because Mama had him to retell the story all over yeah. again. He was like, I already told y'all that. But that's, I mean, that's just like going to the doctor and your doctor uh -huh. don't believe that you can get healed. Why I'm going to go to if you don't believe in my health? For real. Yeah, so if you don't believe I'm innocent, just get off the case. Yeah, but there was a good um, part in there where, you know, when he was telling his story to Terry, trying to convince him that he's innocent, Ghost looked down at the pictures of the crime scene and he said, that phone wasn't there when mm -hmm. I was in that apartment. He said, so that phone was planted there. He said, well, how can you be so sure? He said, because when I went in there, I looked for a specific thing. Yeah. And that right there wasn't there. So then he wanted to know, say, hey, well, how did that, how in the world did the your um, mm -hmm. DNA get under this, his fingernails? Yeah. And he said, when he pulled me up, he said. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. When he, and, and in our, everybody's mind, we all were thinking, did they get into a scuffle? 
I mean, what happened? But we never thought about when he pushed him up against the freaking car. Mm -hmm. And yep. that's, that's where the DNA came yep. from. That's where it came from. So right then I said, Proctor don't own that. He gonna try yep. to figure this thing out. And they was like, you know, see if that is, that's logged on the books. Yep. See if that pullover, we can find anything on the pullover, of course. Nothing was there. there. Isn't. Yeah, because he just pulled him over because he was pissed off because he was screwing his girl. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Basically. So, that lead us into... They want to get this freaking DNA expunged off the case because that's the only thing that's really right now that's really hurting the case of him getting the needle. So they was able to retrieve that tape, had the hearing. Um, freaking John them tried to get it dismissed because they knew it was gonna screw them, mm -hmm. and um, it didn't work. So to show the tape, and to make a long story short, we saw Knox push him up against the truck like like my baby said, and. After that, uh, Proctor was like, we want to have the DNA evidence removed. The judge said, well, he not quite. Yeah, yeah, not quite. We're still going to keep it. We're going to use this right here, but we're still going to keep it. I was like, this is some blue skit. But this is the only way it proved, came in here. Yeah, we just proved that. This is how. Yeah, how. How you got it. But you still want to keep it in there. So he said, we're going to split the baby. Yeah, we're going to split the baby. I was like, what? Well, what kind of blue skit is this? What kind of is this? So, Proctor, you know, he always got a ram in the bush. Hmm. He said, well, Judge, Angela Valdez back there, sitting like she all innocent, knew about this freaking tape, and she suppressed the evidence. And she was like, hmm, who, said, me? Valdez, he, take a stand. He said, bring your A up here to the stand. And she, he said, did you know about this? Yes, yeah. I did. Did you tell anybody? Yes, I did. So John Mark wanted to say, well, she told us about it, but since we looked in the records and that pullover wasn't in the um, records, we didn't look any further into it. Judge said, okay, this is where we're going to split the baby. Mm -hmm. We're going to throw the, um, if we keep the DNA evidence, then mm -hmm. I'll give Proctor the permission to bring it up in the case, saying that y'all purposely mm -hmm. didn't look into this because yep. it's going to help y'all case. Yep. But if you go ahead and go ahead and let that DNA go on on the bottle there. What was yeah. the other part of the deal? I can't even remember now. No, Caprocta said, if you don't use the DNA evidence. Oh, yeah, it goes away. I won't use the tape. Yeah. <laughs> you pick a choice, player. Right. You pick a choice. They said, ain't going to remove that DNA. I removed the DNA from 100, Alex. Because <laughs> they know the jury wasn't going to buy that boo skin. They going to do right then and there. Y'all yeah. try to set him yeah, up. you try to set him up. And I said, Proctor. Might try to find a way to bring it on back up in there. He'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I slipped. <laughs> yeah. Then we seen a scene that uh, Tariq was playing a video game and was texting some kind of code to somebody. We don't know who it was. Well, we didn't. But he sent the code over to Kane and they broke inside the house and then they're stealing and said, don't touch nothing. It's like, who house is this? And it's the god darn dude from the school that Tariq want to kick his tail for keep on screwing with him and his sister. But we trying to figure out how in the heck did, did Tariq he get, the get, get the access code. And I told Lynette, I said, the only thing I could think of when um, when they was messing with Raina at school, when he came came around the corner like a pit bull and pushed the bull up against the wall, that maybe he some kind of way snatched it from him then. None of that I, makes I, sense I, to I, me. I don't, I don't know, but yeah, they broke in. I actually thought he was giving them the code to <laughs> their elevator. I said, yeah. this... <laughs> yeah. Don't gave Cannon the goddamn code to get into their house and to burglarize his own skit. Tariq gotta go. Yeah. He gotta go. Yeah. Now, now he going to the point he disrespecting his sister now. His sister coming there saying, you know what? We need to get our skit together. You know, we need to make daddy look good. So you know, I already, I, I already screwed up and they got me. Yeah, got so, me all you messed know, up. You get, you get in a fight. You get expelled. Then that's not going to make daddy taste look good. He cussing her out. You be this and F that and this. Tariq. She should have hit my she should have a bottle. She I promise you. Tariq got it. Like Mike B said, I don't care if he dies right now. I yeah. He, 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 he's, so, he's so disrespectful. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, we saw we saw in um the uh, Kenny Mama's name. Who? The prison guard. Which one? Oh, um, Charlie Murphy? Charlie Murphy, yeah. Gave him the newspaper, Raynor. I was like, because y'all remember when Raynor went for chasing behind Tariq, that they're going paparazzi dude was taking those pictures. And they know how to take a picture and put a headline on it and make you think that it was the right thing saying that. The truth much, she, hurts. Yeah, the truth hurts. She told up about the death sentence of, of her daddy. 
It ain't had nothing to do with that. She was crying because because of Tariq, what he did. And that don't broke ghost down in jail yeah. because he already thinking about the deal that Angela gave him. And Terry was like, look, you need to think take about the, this deal. deal. So now I'm sitting here like, don't think about this. Yeah. Because they breaking you down. And I know right now all you want to do is think about your family. Mm -hmm. So he ended up calling home. And Raina was still messed She's up. still messed up. Tasha's over it. Yeah. Tasha's like, here, talk to your daughter, but I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, at this point, I, I don't know what Ghost's going to do. Because I'm hoping that that piece of evidence, that traffic can, will get them off. We still waiting on them to ask about going in the office and pulling that tape to see how they found that gun. Because yeah. that alone That's is it. definitely going to kill it. If they do that, so but but somebody anybody. need probably need to go talk to Dre. Yeah, because the gun was found over there, and Dre know y'all remember. I think it was season was it season one, season two, where that um security system is independent of the club one. Yeah, that's a separate. So one. Dre ain't turned that off. Trust nah. me, he didn't turn that nah, off. Nah, he ain't turned that off because that gets turned on and off from the office itself. Yep. So I'm sitting here like he turned that stuff off, but that that right there was running. Yep. You can't tell me nothing different. So, I don't know. I hope that come up. Um, Power don't seem like power no more. Yeah, I was getting, I, I was getting ready, I was getting ready to say I'm not that. even hyped no more. I, I feel like it's, because you know one time every episode was fire. Something was going to go down. But now it's, 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 it's the same narrative, narrative. They still trying to push the drugs. And they trying to lock somebody up. But before, on every episode, most times somebody was getting killed. Mm -hmm. I mean, but yeah, it was... it's, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not, yeah, it's not. And somebody said that in the comments, too, um, last yeah. week. And um, somebody had put in there, too, about the ratings, how each, each season the ratings has, has really gone down. Maybe it, maybe it done ran its course. Yeah, because I remember a time where when it, when it came out on the app, I don't care what time it was, I was like. It was up watching it, yeah. It's freaking 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we just finished watching this. Yeah. And I was sitting there saying, you know, let, let's go watch Power. It's like it's a task now. So I'm hoping that it gets better. And I hope yeah. that it doesn't show to y'all. Which sometimes it does. It just, it's just I mean, I mean, that's the nature of the beast. We human, yeah. So. Yeah, so. But we want to bring y'all the real. Yeah, Power ain't the same. At this point, it ain't, it ain't the same. Something has to happen and it has to happen quickly. Yeah. yeah. I think they're stressing it out too, too far, too. It's like... All the, matter of fact, these last three episodes probably could have been smashed together, mm -hmm. for real, for real. Oh, at least I'm looks. ready to see. I'm ready to see Ghost get crunked in prison. That when we see him cutting somebody and all, yeah, we need to get to that. Yeah, yeah, we need to lock we, him up. Yeah, we need or Ghost. Let him go. Yeah, we need Ghost to be Ghost again. Yeah, yeah, because this right here, this back this and forth. Is, yeah, this is Ghost. Every two minutes, they in another meeting. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I feel like I'm at work. But anyway, that last scene was a title. Mm -hmm. With Terry and Ghost, and Terry once again was in there judging Ghost. I ain't got time for you bullshit and judging me. I just need you to represent my case and get me off this bullshit. And Terry said, "You know, and I know who you really are." Hey, he Ghost said, "Who am I? Who am I?" He, he said, said mm -hmm. "This right here. This who you are, right yeah. here. You don't fool me." Yeah, he said, "I done dealt with a whole lot of cats like you. Whole lot." They said a whole bunch of other stuff that don't even matter. But yeah, <laughs> he know who Ghost is. If they said that's what you did, you, you did, did that skit. And on that note, straight from the VA, the dirty, dirty side. Two out, two down. Holla. Holla.